Hi, I'm Jamie Knukin and welcome to IBD School. In this video, IBD School 512, we will talk about two tests to screen for tuberculosis. The Tuberculin Purified Protein Derivative Skin Test, or PPD, and the Quantifuron TB Gold Blood Test. Many IBD patients will receive one or both of these tests as they are standard of care and quality measures prior to starting any of the anti-tumor necrosis factor or anti-TNF therapies for IBD. These therapies include Remicade, Humira, Simsia, and Symphony. Both of these tests evaluate whether you have had significant exposure to the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis, or for short, TB. TB is not common in the United States and is more commonly seen in patients with recent travel or have previously lived outside the United States. Patients who've had exposure but not active infection can have what is called latent TB. However, in a patient with latent TB who is later significantly immunosuppressed with medications like anti-TNF-based therapies, the TB can reactivate and cause active infection. PPD is a skin test used to determine whether a patient has been exposed or infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis. The test is administered by injecting a small amount of protein into the inner forearm and the result is read 48 to 72 hours later by assessing for an immune reaction or raised bump on the skin. Quantifuron TB is a test in which your blood is drawn into a tube and then exposed to tuberculosis antigens in the lab. If the immune cells in your blood have been previously activated to defend against TB, they will make and secrete an immune signal called interferon into the blood. This quantifuron test quantitates the interferon that's released into the blood in patients who've been exposed to TB. This is then compared to your own interferon response to a standard immune stimulus that everyone should react to, also known as a positive control. Any patient who starts on anti-TNF medication will be required to have one or both of these tests performed regardless of their risk factors. Patients with undiagnosed active or latent tuberculosis who are started on any of the anti-TNF therapies are at high risk for reactivation of tuberculosis. To discuss the PPD test a little further, we can see here on the left a negative result of the PPD test. This patient has had no prior exposure to tuberculosis. This is a very good test and rarely has a false negative. In this case, it would then be safe to proceed forward with anti-TNF therapy. However, on the other side of the screen, you can see a positive result. This result shows presence of redness and swelling around the site of the skin test injection and is measured in millimeters. If your results are positive, your physician will refer you to see an infectious disease specialist. This result can mean that you've been exposed to tuberculosis and could benefit from treatment with anti-tuberculosis therapies before you start anti-TNF-based therapies. We usually treat patients for a minimum of four to eight weeks. In rare instances, the PPD test can produce false positive results. However, in all cases where a positive result is seen, we would recommend referral to an infectious disease specialist. There are no risks to having a PPD placed unless you have prior allergy to the protein used for the PPD test. The Quantifuron TB Gold is a more costly test, but more accurate for the assessment of tuberculosis. It is thought to rarely produce a false positive result. The Quantifuron TB test has three possible results. First, a negative result, meaning you have had no previous exposure to tuberculosis. Second, a positive result, meaning you've been exposed and will need to be referred to an infectious disease specialist. And third, an indeterminate result, meaning it wasn't positive or negative. In IBD patients, especially those taking steroids, it is not uncommon to get an indeterminate result. If you have an indeterminate result, it usually means that you are on immunosuppressants like steroids. If this is the case, a physician may repeat the blood test or perform a chest x-ray to check for active tuberculosis in the lungs. An indeterminate result does not mean that you have tuberculosis, just that the result is not clear. PPD and Quantifuron TB Gold are both useful tests to screen for prior exposure to tuberculosis and screening is required prior to starting any of the anti-TNF-based therapies. If you'd like to learn more about 
some of these therapies, please check out our anti-TNF therapy IBD School 300 series. I'm Jamie Knukin, and thanks for watching IBD School 512.